close your eyes, trying to find a sense of well-being inside. That can be the basis of your concentration. You can do it by the way you breathe. Sometimes the breath isn't all that cooperative, so you think your way to a sense of well-being. One of the easiest ways, or it should be one of the easiest ways, is when you're happy for someone else's goodness. It's called mudita. Your happiness depends on actions, you realize that. And when you see someone do good and get the results of having done good, then you feel good for them. And it lifts the mind, reminds you that that is a fairness to the world, in the sense that doing good does pay off. And it's no respect of persons. The cases where it's difficult, of course, is when someone's reaping the results of something good they did in a past life, but they've changed their habits. They're no longer the good people they were, or they're not doing the good things they were doing. But you have to remember, no, no matter what, it's the result of good karma someplace. Hold on to that thought. It makes it a lot easier to look at someone else's good fortune that they're abusing and not get upset. Because after all, when we spread thoughts of goodwill, we're saying, may all beings be happy. Well, this is one of the consequences of that. This is what people do with happiness. You have to realize that when you're talking about, may all beings be happy, you're hoping for something higher than just material goodness, praise, good fortune, status. You're hoping for a happiness inside. Because, of course, if other people get spoiled by their good fortune, what's going what's to happen to you? You want to make sure you're not spoiled by your good fortune, which means you have to meditate, train the mind. When you think in these ways, then it's a lot easier to settle down, put aside your concerns for the world, and have some concern for your breath right here, right now. Notice how it's coming in, notice how it's going out. Notice how you can make it more and more pleasant. And that we can enjoy the results of your own actions. This is another one of the lessons of mudita. Is that if you're jealous of other people's good fortune, it's going to be hap <clears throat> it's going to be hard to enjoy your own good fortune. Here, are people who don't feel right; they feel guilty when they find the pleasure of meditation. Well, that's because they haven't been spreading thoughts of goodwill and empathetic joy to people who are already happy. Happiness seems wrong one way or another. This is one of the reasons why the Buddha also recommended that you not be stingy. That you learn to be generous and learn to enjoy your wealth. If you can't enjoy your wealth to at least some extent, then you're going to see enjoyment as a bad thing. It's going to be hard to have empathetic joy for other people's enjoyment, and it's going to be hard to enjoy your meditation. So have the proper attitude towards good fortune that comes from good actions, and you want to be careful not to abuse it, but you want to appreciate other people's good fortune too. That way you can tap into their happiness and make it part of your happiness. That helps to lift the mind and put it in the right mood to meditate.